Hi, residents of Templeton. You used to watch and talk of the town. This is actually a special segment where we're going to do the state of the town. Uh, many of you know me in town. I'm the assistant town administrator, Adam Montaigne. With me tonight, that's going to go over all the everything we've done from fiscal year 19 and beyond is the chairman of the select board, Michael Curry. We work closely together on many initiatives and he's the signing authority on behalf of the town and he is the face of the town. And with that, uh, if you wanted to kind of jump in, Great. Um, Mr. Chairman. Or? Absolutely. Thanks, Adam. Um, first, I think um, as a way of a format for this evening, um, most people are, are used to uh, the State of the Union. Mm -hmm. and I really don't think that they have a, a, a concept for what a state of the town is, but essentially it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. How is our municipality doing? And uh, as we've done many years in the past, we get together in uh, January, we talk about uh, the past fiscal year, and mm -hmm. we talk about the way forward. Um, so I'd like to talk about, uh, talk like the State of the Union, um, only the state of the town, and then uh, we talk about some of the vision items uh, going forward, and then uh, uh, by way of like Q&A, we kind of review some of the, uh, the items that we uh, talked about at our all boards meeting that uh, took place at the Senior Center just about a month ago. So without any further delay, to the town Templeton and the four villages that make up our municipality, Templeton, Otter River, East Templeton, and Baldwinville, the state of the town is strong. These aren't just words. It's not merely just a hand, a wave of the hand, but a hard fact that we continually improve and innovate as a community. And we should be aware of this, and we should be proud of this fact. The town is strong as we continue to improve in several key areas. Fiscal practices, community collaboratives, community and citizen engagements, public safety commitments, infrastructure and services support, and to, uh, strengthening our municipal teams. We continue to look inward as well as outward in our goal setting. This is important as it provides clarity of direction and transparency of our processes. Our citizens demand it and we deliver. We honor our employees, and I am being very broad when I say employees, as I view the entire team that serves our four villages as an extension of the capabilities that we have expectations for. Light and Water Department, the Sewer Department, Narragansett Regional School District, and all of our elected volu uh, and volunteer boards and committees. They are all valued and honored for their service and sacrifices this past year and into the, well into the future. We have had missteps, yes, but those missteps and miscalculations have made us a stronger municipal force. These challenges are what help us set our improved goals to provide all of the services that our public expects at their full and effective rate. Not one less police officer, not one less teacher, not one less volunteer. As chairman for the Board of Selectmen, I saw a productive and challenging 2019. My fellow bo board members, Diane Haley Brooks, Julie Richard, Jeff Bennett, and Terry Griffiths, are engaged and ready for a productive 2020. I would encourage any and all to review our annual goal setting, the goal setting documents that are available at templetonma.gov. These are key documents that we use to guide our efforts and our resources throughout the budget process and administrative year. Uh, now I'd like to talk a little bit about vision. Um, I can tell you, or specifically I can tell you, that I and the other uh, select board members are vested in providing key services. I personally value the following uh, vision items. Our emerging excellence in fiscal responsiveness and responsibility. This past year, Adam, I know that uh, during one of the meetings that we talked about, uh, we had our annual fiscal audit from an external agency and it provided, I believe, um, out of uh, a start of 30 deficiencies from the pa years past, we now have an enduring six that we are working on. That's part of not only responsibility, but responsiveness. Our fiscal team has made extremely um, productive advances in not only processes, but uh, solid dollar uh, earning figures mm -hmm. for our community, whether it's through, through receipts or through, it's through uh, uh, fiscal efficiency. Next is our commitment to safety and security. Um, I have to say that I'm very impressed in our public safety team that we have 
here in Templeton. Uh, Chief Bennett, Ch Chief Dickey, um, uh, our, our emergency management director, Rich Curtis, um, and really, when you talk about safety, uh, you, you can never forget your DPW mm -hmm. and Bob Skozik and his great team and buildings and grounds and cemetery crew. Um, our commitment is there. Um, I, I'll speak a little bit to that later, mm -hmm. specifically to some of the items that have been called out. But um, as far as uh, a vision for the, the town, public safety and security is, is first and foremost. And I, and I feel that from the citizens. When we have our town meeting, uh, fall or annual or even the special, that is a consistent theme that I see from our citizens. Mm -hmm. uh, next um, is opportunities. And I say it in plural because uh, we should always be considering multiple opportunities for our community. Our town motto is industry. This is a nod to our past, but it should be a beacon for our future. Industry does not have to mean the traditional economic activity like river power, textile mills, or assembly lines. Industry can mean hard work and tenacious effort. I believe this is the kind of activity that, that town meeting is calling for, rather than sinking in tax, infrastructure renewal, and endless debate. Next, um, diversity, our diversity. Um, of demographics, we are a, a rural central Massachusetts town, so we look like a lot of other central Massachusetts town. But I know that's, that's changing as uh, some of the population from uh, the more popular, populated areas starts moving and buying homes, starting families, um, coming to our schools. Our demographic diversity is increasing, and that is a very good thing to see for our community. Uh, speaking of diversity, we also have a very diverse uh, community of opinions and ideas. Mm -hmm. And I think part of our engagement and, um, you know, behind the cameras tonight, we have our TCTV crew. They are instrumental in being able to be a part of that conversation where if we do have a diversity of opinions and ideas, the, these are some um, avenues by which we can explore them and have people be informed throughout the community. As far as a vision item, it's paramount to have that kind of diversity. And lastly, in terms of vision, at least from my personal point of view, is our community spirit. We do a, a lot of really good things within our community, and it is important that we have community spirit, that we take pride in our diversity, that mm -hmm. we take pride in our public safety, that uh, we take pride in our, our sports teams, Go Warriors. Um, it's very, very important that we wind up having a sense of community spirit. And so when, when we're out and about, whether it's international, Louisiana, Los Angeles, Taiwan, uh, UK, when you, people ask, where are you from, mm -hmm. uh, with a resounding, you know, whether it's one of the villages or just um, from Templeton mm -hmm. with an arumph, uh, that's, that's a pretty important thing. People should be proud of where they come from. Next, I'd like to talk um, about uh, really the state of the town from the, the perspective of the leadership within the town. Um, the Board of Selectmen serves uh, not to channel ideas, but to make decisions and provide leadership once those ideas are realized. Leadership is about awareness of facts, policy, and prevailing wisdom, and then making those appropriate decisions. We are a board of five, and we do not always agree. Sometimes polar opposites on an issue, but we have so far managed to have vibrant debates and have been able to deliver to the townspeople on our commitment to leadership. Um, for accomplishments, um, as I mentioned to Adam a few minutes ago, we've had a lot of accomplishments within the town, and it's, it, it feels good to go through those accomplishments. We know that there are challenges, and we'll talk about those. Um, but first and foremost, we always want to lead with the, the, um, the right foot forward on the accomplishments. So, um, yeah, just the, the fact that we went, we were working on two budgets at one point. Yeah. I mean, we, going in and just not only that, but all the collective bargaining units mm -hmm. we had to work with all at the same time. Yep. So it was, this past uh, year has been trying, but I believe Templeton is on the rise. I think with yeah. the chairman... That's who he's highlighting just a, a few of the examples of all the positive things you're seeing in town. We've, we've converted over to salt. Mm -hmm. The roads look much cleaner. These are just little things that are all making the town a better place each and every single day. Yep. And the, the chairman, as well as the select board, 
work closely with everybody because at mm -hmm. town meeting, you all have a say. Yep. You all have a say as a part of the process. So I think it's uh, something that we have to take note of. But not only that, but there's so many federal obligations or requirements that we have to fulfill just on our stormwater. Mm -hmm. And a and lot having of a team that's available to absolutely. put that together and, and you know what we deal as a contingency if we don't have the trained personnel to do that. And I think that's a highlight from this last year is that we were able to get that stormwater report uh, accomplished in a timely manner so we did not uh, fall behind. And, and not only that, but I think all the partnerships that we've, we've established with mm -hmm. working with universities, mm -hmm. Westfield State Universities, MBA I was going to mention them, yep. Yep, I mean, these are just all these little things. Well, they're not so much so little, but because these are all integral parts to a town and how it functions. The MS4 obligations are substantial right. because if we did not comply with those, we could be fined a substantial amount of dollars and get a decree issued yep. against us. So the, these are the things that matter. These are the issues that hit the road. Mm -hmm. and, and the chairman knows, because we work hand in hand on various different uh, projects uh, from the budget all mm -hmm. the way to policy. Sure. And I, I just wanted to kind of just chime in. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Add to that. It, well, let, I mean, let's give some examples now. Um, mm -hmm. You know, these are top level success items. I think there are a lot of daily success items that, um, that, that the town does well. And again, t uh, to go back to that point, the state of the town is, you know, pulling the proverbial dipstick out of an engine. And, you know, where, where is the mm -hmm. town at? Daily processes are going very well, but I do want to give some, some examples of some of these top level successes that I think the town should be very proud of. Um, the first and foremost that, I, uh, that we discussed at the all boards meeting was the participation in volunteerism, mm -hmm. boards, events, and meetings. Um, you know, I jumped into the Board of Selectmen pond earlier this year, was elected in, uh, in, in May and became the chair. And I've been involved before within the town in the Veterans Board, the Advisory Board, but this was a, this was a year of awakening, I think. Um, I don't know if it was our own processes or if it was Facebook, social media, but people got, uh, people got engaged. They did. Yep. Um, we have a special town meeting that's coming up that's based on a, a voter initiative because people are engaged and they want to see the right things happening within their community. So, and it's creating that dialogue yep. in the community. And it's whether it's positive or negative, I think it's important to note that people are tuning in. People are watching. People are volunteering yep. at a rate I've yep. never ever seen before. Yep. I mean, we have people come in the office signing up for like just the Capital Planning Committee alone yep. and yep. all these other uh, advisories that fully staffed. Mm -hmm. Uh, I shouldn't say staff, but fully, right. uh, full membership. Well, Adam, I think um, a, a primary reason for that is that we're putting the information out there, and whether, like you said, sometimes it's negative, sometimes it's positive. It's not a bad thing if someone's getting involved in volunteering for a board, mm -hmm. uh, like capital planning. If if it's a, a negative to say, I don't, why are we but getting new dump trucks? I don't, you know, or why uh, people were very vocal about um, vehicles, different the different department vehicle needs. Um, and that's, that's how we got to know each other pretty good. It was going through the capital, capital planning. planning last year. And it was a year. very, uh, you know, speaking of the State of the Union and successes for last year, this last year, and uh, we expended well over $600,000 for a capital budget. And, um, you, you mentioned ICE. Um, there are a Salt lot check. of uh, infrastructure items that we got taken care of. The hot box? Remember? The hot box. Yep. Um, I think there was a lot of um, parity among the departments as well. Um, before it's been li based on a lower capital uh, a capital budget, it's been limited in scope to possibly one department. You know, ambulances cost uh, a, a lot of money. This year, we were able to kind of spread the wealth, and we got new voting machines because the old ones were obsolete. Mm -hmm. Again, we made sure that the um, all of the the departments, the boards, and ultimately the public, uh, like you said, I sat there and, and gave the report. We had a lot of parity among the, the departments, and I felt very good about that, that we weren't singling out a department and saying, you're getting everything this year. Um, everybody got a little bit of, of the slice of that capital pie. And we were very fair. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, next, I think the FY uh, is something to be proud of, um, even though it, it wound up dragging on for quite a long time. I think, we, like I said in the beginning, uh, we learned a lot. I think we... Uh, we were able to learn from our missteps or miscalculations, but the FY budget process, um, making the early cuts. Um, All those late night calls, remember? Yep. I would call, yeah. be calling you up and letting you updates yep. uh, and working with um, the school committee. Um, 
I think that we've really uh, committed to working with the school committee on a much more hand-in-hand -hand basis, especially now that we're within, well within the budget process. But I think that this budget process from the last year, we had a freshman class uh, the prior year with the advisory committee. Um, this whole budget process, we fine-tune a lot of items, and I think that, I, or something that I'm looking forward to is um, the budget process, well, who look for, looks forward to a budget process, well, but that long, as that well as you Saturday, can. Saturday, right? Yep. We're getting ready for that. And, and, and That's a good one to go to. The, um, I don't have the date in front of me right now, but the, uh, the Saturday, it's in March. Saturday, March. Yeah. Yep, and it's a full day uh, where each department comes through and briefs the advisory committee and the board of selectmen um, with the town administrator in attendance and talks about the level of detail of the budget items within that line, mm -hmm. almost line, I think it is line by line, account by account. And, and we're fortunate where you served on that advisory committee, you worked well with all mm -hmm. of the members there, so you have that knowledge of being a, both the chairman of the select mm -hmm. board, but at the same token, uh, working well with the advisory committee. Yes. So we have a very balanced, I mean, do we agree on everything? No, but right. for, at the end of the day, I think we have a good rapport. We have great dialogue, yep. and that's what's creating this, all these volunteers coming out. Mm -hmm. They want to be a part of the town of Templeton. Or they just want to see what the process is. And so, yeah, absolutely. You know, full and fair warning, that, that Saturday in March, um, I'm sure it's posted on our meeting uh, board, mm -hmm. but that, that's a good one to go to if you really want to know who's, what, what supplies we're spending. Why is the $500 in supplies there? Yep. Good one to know. Uh, next item that uh, we talked about at that all boards meeting, um, free cash being certified in, a, in uh, well in advance in September of $1.4 uh, million. Mm -hmm. um, again, that speaks to our financial team's ability to understand the process, collate all of the information, and then submit it to state in a timely manner. Because you got to think, 350, 353 other cities and towns are submitting similar mm -hmm. paperwork looking to do the same thing. And to get ours in September really spoke to that financial team's ability to understand the timeline and some of the difficulties that uh, come with that. And, and for the state to sign up as fast as they did, mm -hmm. I mean, I think it was important to note that everything's, even just recently the recap, yep. I mean, getting everything in on time, the finance team does an awesome job, no yep. question. I think they come in, uh, Luann, Kelly, Cheryl, yep. and they actually come to the Board of Selectmen yep. meetings and brief the select board and the public so they know everything going on. And w one thing I could, I'm proud to say, uh, many things I'm proud to say, but this one particularly is our transparency. Mm -hmm. I mean, those budget cuts, we made sure that we were clear with the public mm -hmm. right from the beginning. Yeah. And the citizens demand that, and um, they're never going to stop saying that, and that's, 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 that's fine because that's our mandate to make sure that uh, if we're doing a good job, um, maybe uh, you know we need that feedback to say we still need the transparency to understand that. Mm -hmm. um, and, and really piggybacking on that free cash certification in September, this really made for a very robust and uh, well thought out capital planning period. Mm -hmm. The earlier you have the information for what funds you have to deal with and what um, not that that 1.4 doesn't go 100 percent. It gets sliced off to some of those other um, accounts that we de desperately mm -hmm. need to fund uh, stabilization, uh, OPEX stabilization, the capital stabilization. Mm -hmm. Correct. Um, moving on to, to uh, just took a few more uh, accomplishments. Uh, successful evaluation year for the assessor's office. Um, I believe this was a nine, a nine year. Mm -hmm. Every nine years we uh, go through a, a full evaluation. And although um, the, the fruits of that were increased property values, but we also came out on the other side with a lower tax rate. So some would call it a wash, but uh, again, it shows, um, it shows that level of specificity that goes within a full assessment year and really how that drives further tr financial um, situations within the town. And, and to your leadership, Mr. Chairman, too, I think the fact that uh, all these offices are working collaboratively together, like Brian mm -hmm. O'Sullivan, who mm -hmm. was an intern in our office, mm -hmm. Luann brought uh, on yeah, board, and he was out there Going yep. day, day in and day out with uh, yep. Luann and it, just providing those resources yeah. that these departments need. Yeah, that's a good and point. And I think y you, as chairman, have done a fabulous job Thanks. making sure that we have the resources there mm. and the team to get the, these important things yep. done. Because, I mean, it's amazing how much we have to turn into the state. And, again, volunteers, the interns, they're, they're, uh, 
they're not only an integrated part of the team, they're an essential part of the team. Yep. Um, I know that uh, a lot of the seniors, uh, juniors and seniors coming out of Narragansett, they look forward to that and uh, they, they receive a lot of positive feedback. I know that uh, that was something that uh, Dr. Kazavan talked at the all boards meeting because they, they're, pretty, they're pretty excited to get those people involved in those, these programs. Uh, moving on, um, most of the, the, um, the CBAs were approved by the, BO, uh, by the Board of Selectmen. These mm -hmm. are three years uh, contracts. These are the collective bargaining, bargaining agreements that we have with our union employees. Again, um, you know, I earlier talked about our employees. We have union employees and we have non-union uh, employees. It's making sure that we, um, again, we have uh, parity across both to make sure that we're, we're really paying attention to those, the, um, the collective bargaining agreements and our support for their, our union employees. And I don't think we've ever sat on anything in, or uh, we've never let it go if we have to have um, executive sessions to talk through these items. We're actually uh, achieving that. We're not kicking the can, the proverbial can down the road with these. So, And, and just the consistency of the sure. language, how we worked and cleaned up a lot of these contracts, mm -hmm. I mean, speak volumes. I mean, we're fortunate in Templeton where we have great, a uh, great team of union employees yep. as well as non-union. And we don't have the issues that other communities have where right. they're out there picketing or they're out there. Uh, I, I can proudly say that Templeton uh, is very fortunate to have people that truly take pride and care about their community. Absolutely. And that's huge to have And the unions that care back because during our fiscal crisis, I know that the, I know the police department had to um, really dig deep and uh, make some, some changes, uh, changes that unfortunately needed to make sure that uh, the union um, was all right with that. And they were, they were successful. And that's why, you know, the, through the leadership of, of Mike Bennett, mm -hmm. uh, Chief Bennett, I, th I think that uh, our cooperation with the union employees and the unions are actually, um, it, you know, goal setting. Uh, I think it, it's, um, I think the public can be very uh, happy with that. And, and I'm, I'm proud too, just, just the fact that after you know, we settled uh, some of the contracts that I still get text messages from uh, union members. Mm -hmm. uh, and th just the fact that they have so much trust in us really speaks volumes. Uh, yes, um, that for, we're looking out for them, that yeah. we're not, you know, that we're, um, they're first and foremost, when we say employees, we're not, um, we're not prioritizing or anything. We're, they're, everyone has got an equal mm -hmm. effort. We already spoke about the MS4 requirements um, and meeting our uh, requirements for the stormwater. Um, so thank you for that. Um, we did some zoning bylaws for Huge. Uh, yep mar marijuana zoning bylaw changing uh, changing the bylaw at the fall town meeting, and this really um, paves the way for a new industry. Um, I think that we get out in front of it mm -hmm. uh, to use a, a, a familiar term um, and paving the way for economic development. Um, you know, when I talked about opportunities, this is another one that we, we kind of seized upon. Um, we had, a, a, it, it was unfortunate that uh, our Baldwinville Elementary School plan fell through. Um, I think that we're going to try and recover from that. Again, we, we learn from our, our missteps or uh, in this case, the, um, the, um, the, the zoning. Yeah. yeah, 1620, I think, pulled out um, because of zoning issues. But we've learned from these processes and we can kind of learn, uh, figure out, hey, this time we're going to put this contract out for a little bit longer and give people a little bit time, uh, more time to consider these things. And it gives us a little bit more flexibility if they have questions. Um, yeah, because we've, we've been in talks too, I mean, with the mm -hmm. whole uh, Baldeville Elementary School, because that's certainly a site that we're doing our due diligence. We made it a part of the mm -hmm. overlay district to allow for that site to be more marketable. Mm -hmm. And the chairman and I spoke about the, the zoning components there before because when this new industry came to Templeton, mm -hmm. our zoning didn't really support the, cult didn't support the cultivation because it limited to a few of the parcels. Yep. But working with the select board as well as the planning board, mm -hmm. we were able, in the advisory, because they voted mm -hmm. on it as well, uh, we were able to really come up with a comprehensive plan to bring in econ economic development here in Templeton by the same token, uh, we have two HCAs. Uh, the chairman will talk more about mm. that because the Board of Selectmen approved yeah, next that. Next on my list. And we are doing everything we can. And we're, that RFP will be going out soon. Yep. And it'll be a watch out for this. And I'm pretty confident that we're going to have something done with that yeah. site. I mean, because you see it around other municipalities where 
They have those uh, school buildings that are sitting vacant. Uh, they create other issues. Well, not in Templeton. Yeah. We, we're being proactive. We're, we're sitting in a exa uh, perfect example of that. You know, this, uh, as I'm reminded by uh, several people in town who actually are, you know, probably had class. Maybe the teacher's desk was right mm -hmm. here when it originally was a school. But reuse of, of, um, of infrastructure that we already have out there to be creative, to kind of think through these things. I think these are good things for our community. Um, you spoke about the, uh, the host community agreements. Do you want to talk quickly about those? I know you were heavily involved. In, mm. You know, integrally evolved with them, Royalston Farm and Tempest. Yes, uh, these are two uh, uh, HCAs. One of which is cultivation, which can now move forward because the zoning bylaw mm -hmm. did pass, uh, and the retail uh, facility that's being worked on right outside of the uh, Gardner line. There, you you'll see the facility, and it's in the planning. Uh, right now, Damon Schmidt, uh, the owner manager, has been working with the planning board to get that site ready to go. But keep in mind, just because the HCA is signed by the Board of Selectmen, now they need to go to the Cannabis Control Commission because the first step in this process is getting the host mm -hmm. community agreement. And yeah. we've already moved forward with that. Sitting down with the select board, we had a review, and now that allows Damon to now move forward, go to the Cannabis Control Commission, get the licensure, and at the same time, he could start working on his facility. And we're being proactive on that front mm -hmm. as well. Uh, Templeton is capturing every single opportunity, but it's also providing the right amount of time and staff to assist with the economic development because Templeton's unique in the sense of the light and water are separate. Mm -hmm. So we have to kind of work, we, well, we have to work collaboratively with them, but at the same token, we have to figure out how much wattage, how much uh, resources, does he need a sewer connection? Mm -hmm. We have to work out all those like inter. Uh, little inter-economic uh, development, uh, what's the term I should say, uh, all those little uh, components. Okay. We have to kind of check those off and make sure that he's he, he has the resources to succeed yep. as well. As a but I think it's a, it was a, an achievement to get that because it really paves the way forward. Um, it shows business that uh, we're able to do, we're, we're able to be flexible. I know um, Carter, uh, Carter Terenzini talks about um, being able to be reactive to community um, associations and businesses uh, specifically to be able to say, we're part of the team, tell us what you need. Mm -hmm. So I think that was a great one. Uh, this next one, I'll definitely take, um, Adam, I know that this was, uh, you already mentioned the Westfield State College Association with our recreation mm -hmm. uh, study. Um, and we completed it. And if you didn't get a chance to watch that hour long presentation, and I believe it was December, was mm -hmm. it early December? Um, uh, I will tell you, Dr. Stif uh, Di Stefano and his uh, Masters of Public Administration uh, Masters team came in, and they briefed us on the state of our uh, our uh, recreation committee and our, our recreation department. And um, Scott Dill, mm -hmm. uh, Dill, yep, Scott Dill, uh, was uh, in attendance and um, very thoughtful, uh, huge for us because it really identifies what can we, what are we doing right. Uh, how do we compare to other communities, and, and what can we do? And I know, um, because I watch uh, social media, I don't always comment, um, sorry for that, but I'd like to, 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 to watch some of the conversations. But uh, I know that generated a lot of uh, interest, uh, interest. People were ma putting up surveys on, um, based on the, the content of that report. Um, so I think that was a very good thing that, uh, that you did for the community. I know that's where you received um, your degrees is from Westfield State, so uh, kudos to that program, kudos to you for bringing that to us, and kudos Thank to you. Dr. DiStefano. All right, let's, um, let's shift gears a little bit, if you don't mind, Adam. I want to talk about the, uh, the challenges that, um, that we're bringing forward to 2020. Um, the challenges, I know that uh, Diane Haley Brooks, um, if she were here, um, she would be stamping the floor with her foot to talk about building the public safety team that we need. And she's not afraid to do it. She's not afraid to do it, and very vocal about it. I would say that Diane's the heart of the community, especially mm -hmm. when we start talking about public safety. Um, we, need, we need to nut. So within this last budget uh, year, or in, in 2019, uh, as you alluded to, Adam, we, we talked, uh, we had to really punt a few times based on our, our budget and not getting it certified, the whole budget certified with the school's portion, uh, the school assessment portion of it. 
and that caused um, public safety and department of, um, well, a lot of the departments felt it in some way, but more probably more than others. Our public safety, um, one of the, some of the largest consumers of our budget needed to be able to react to it. Um, we got a budget. We were able to um, we were able to uh, come with that middle of the road mm -hmm. uh, budget solution, and the school committee uh, joined with us on that. And we were able to pass a budget and restore some of the public safety um, cuts that they had voluntarily made. Um, but that brought us back to still an officer or two mm -hmm. officers down in terms of what our uh, our public safety assessment uh, for Templeton in our villages um, came up with. And we lost a firefighter as well. Yeah, that's you know? yep. and we just couldn't hire them back. So I think that's a challenge that we bring forward to say, within um, a constrained fiscal environment, how do we bu build the public safety team? One of those vision items I have is safety and security. Mm -hmm. um, Templeton and the villages must remain a, a safe community, a secure community to live in, or else we're not going to ha uh, be attractive to that, that uh, westward expan expansion that's happening within uh, Massachusetts. So that's certainly something. Especially with the mm -hmm. beautiful police station we have. I don't mean oh, to yeah. interject, Mr. Chairman, yep. but I mean the fact that, you know, uh, we working opened with you. In 2019, we opened our new police station. Yep. We received Good point. Uh, from the senator and the representative, two hundred twenty-five thousand mm -hmm. yep. dollars that went to s provide more funding for that police station. Mm -hmm. It's something where we're working on, and w you've been in talks with not only myself, uh, Mr. Terenzini, but you know we've been chatting as well to mm -hmm. make sure that we have our public safety teams with as much support as we could give them. And we were fortunate where, you know, there, we had to make some cuts, but uh, yeah. they m made those proactive cuts. So now they're actually able to use that money and provide training for. The, mm -hmm. new, the new officers that are coming in right. and uh, filling the shifts. So right. people in town know that their public safety departments, their police, their yeah. fire, their emergency management. Uh, you get the updates with emergency right. management. We're doing the best we can to provide that safety, right. provide that structure for them to know yeah. that, hey, look, at we have a beautiful school. We have a beautiful police station. Right. There's a lot to be proud of, but at the same token, we got a staff. Yeah. And you, you have been working. Mm -hmm. we, we speak uh, multiple times, and uh, we work closely with the police chief and the fire yeah. chief. I, I think another component of that um, building the, the public safety team is really educating the public. Um, I know that uh, we, we have still yet to get Chief Bennett in here for a talk of the town, but really when people were saying, why do we have that many cops, uh, police officers, um, you have to understand that they're not all out on the street at the same time. There's mm -hmm. multiple different... Um, uh, capabilities and um, requirements that they wind up having. And I think that's uh, another good thing that came out this year is we opened the new police department, mm -hmm. um, the facility, and we were able to really have that ongoing conversation. Um, you know, a challenge of working on two budgets within, uh, in the contingency oh, of that. two completely different fiscal scenarios. Um, I, I've, I've probably said it multiple times on tape, um, in, the, in the newspaper, mm -hmm. and in uh, you know live um, during town meetings. We remain committed to fully supporting all of the requirements. Our, our constraint is the um, <laughs> the money to pay for them. Mm -hmm. um, we remain committed to doing that, and I think going into 2020. Um, as a matter of fact, tomorrow will will be the third meeting of um, some of the. Uh, the points of contact, um, town administrators from the two towns, uh, chairmen from the uh, mm -hmm. two communities of Phillipston and Templeton, and then the school committee chair and the superintendent to have these discussions. How can we fully support all of our requirements? You know, ha um, again, I don't, I don't want to lose one police officer. I don't want to lose one teacher. I don't want to lose one volunteer. Um, and I think this goes to. Uh, having a challenge to making sure that we're working within the, the, these teams. I mean, just amazing how many people are moving into town. I mean, I consider mm -hmm. Templeton a very family-oriented yeah. community. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a great school. We have a nice, uh, great teachers. We have uh, a fabulous team, and it's just that challenge. Yeah. Blown know. away. I mean, again, I think this is the year of social media, at least from a, from a, an engagement perspective, and to see all of the different... Um, 
posts of the new school and what uh, the band is doing, um, the mark, the, the you know what the uh, our sports teams are doing. It's just it's like you said, it's it's really fantastic to see all that and and the school uh, for doing a great job of sharing that information. And we're we're also there when the school's first day. We were there um, with Chris and we had absolutely a conversation very with them. very impactful for mm -hmm. me. Um, uh, to, to watch that, to be fully engaged with that, uh, they invited us, and I think that was a very nice gesture. But it really g gave me a sense of um, their team, you know, th their union leader, uh, the devotion, and really, I, I, you know, I give a lot of kudos at near the end, as many as I possibly mm -hmm. can. But specifically, I'll, I'll address something that I saw with Chris uh, or Dr. Kazman there. But Chris is actually pretty entertaining, though, when he was talking about the signs and everything. At the absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Um, moving on, uh, just a, another challenge is uh, working with. The, speaking of the schools, we we want to get uh, Baldwinville Elementary. I know that the, we've got to get it cleaned up and turn over, and I think there are a lot of issues. Um, hopefully, we can help them with that. Um, the schools just fi finished it all. Yeah. Up. yeah. So to really just kind of um, close the chapter for Baldwinville Elementary and um, you know turn it over to something else that's going to be great. I'd mm -hmm. um, like to talk about some of the items that we're going to be looking forward to in 2020. Um, some of them se might seem kind of random, but it's just really kind of a, a collection. A, a lot of the, uh, the, uh, the larger points are some of the ones that people might have been um, f think that they, we lost track on or mm -hmm. they needed an update on. Um, Royalston Road is getting patched. Um, I know we've had a lot of conversation about that uh, while, while we're working to get it approved within the next few years with $5 million in state money and mm -hmm. federal match. Um, if you haven't seen the road study, um, I believe that was, was that completed within this last year or was that a 2018 it, product? I, it was towards the end, but it, you could okay. consider it, yeah. You if you haven't seen it. a copy of the road study, um, you know, we talk, touch upon some of the uh, the larger items, but um, the road study is available through our website, and again, templetonma.gov. Um, very interesting document when you say, well, what about my road? What about my, my road? Mm -hmm. When is that going to get touched? Um, uh, again, I've got a lot of kudos at the end. Our public, depart uh, public works department and Bob Skozik have done a really good job of being reactive. Um, I, I have to laugh. I saw on the, uh, one of the Facebook sites the other day um, someone complaining about it, and instead of people just kind of throwing it around. They said, you probably don't need to post it on Facebook and just call him. He'll take care of it. <laughs> and I know he has. And yeah. I know that's a really good thing. And I really appreciate all the, the comments. Uh, it, it's, it's funny to see that. And it's certainly an awareness thing for me. But also to see the people kind of turn a little bit and say, here's his telephone number. Here's how you know, they'll, they'll respond. And they have. Yeah, and, and Bob actually goes out of his way where he'll actually even meet with residents. Everyone I talk to. You know, yep. I mean, they're really happy with him. I mean, he was certainly a good hire for mm -hmm. the town. And uh, just look at all the streets, Partridgeville. I mean, uh, all yeah. these roads are being resurfaced yep. uh, around town. And you're, you're starting to see these, these products of, of hard work over time. And, yeah, Partridgeville um, is amazing. I know that uh, Jeff... You drove out how many times? Uh, I, well, I, I kind of go around the other way now, but uh, Jeff Bennett, and I know, travels on it every single day, and he's probably very happy that that that. Event. Remember at the selectman meeting when you're like, uh, I drove down it once, and it was so good, I had to drive down it again. I know, yeah. <laughs> um, but in that road study, we, we I think the point that we're trying to make is that we've we have a we've shifted our 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 our. Um, our priority scale to say, rather than in the intensive work that some of the roads might need, mm -hmm. we're shifting to a light or moderate to basically work with the chapter, not chapter 90, correct? Chapter 90. Yeah. Chapter 90 funds to be able to, um, to leverage what our capabilities can be, not um, uh, put all the eggs in, in one's basket, so to speak. And those also have to be pre-qualified, so there's a process mm -hmm. that we need to go through in order to utilize those uh, state dollars. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's it's important to know just and just the the whole propo you had to go out to bid for the bituminous concrete, uh, which we did mm -hmm. and uh, well we had M A Broken Stone mm -hmm. that was the lowest bidder so right. it's just the whole process with the with from the do, doing the contract all the way because all that stuff matters I mean mm -hmm. having the right language in there protects the town ultimately mm -hmm. but. I just wanted to say too. I mean, you you see the highway crews out there, and I stop and I usually chat with them, and they'll mm -hmm. say they've never seen so many waves and thumbs yeah. up. Yep. I mean, when they're going around town. Yep. But this is something that we can be proud of because this is something uh, under your leadership and the oh. the town. I have to uh, get it all to Bob. Yeah, Bob. And yep. but I mean, 
he was one of the guys that came in here and came in with his yeah. Chapter 90 plan. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were fortunate where we have, we have a great team. Yep, I agree. Um, if you didn't know, the, the, uh, if you pass by the Patriots Road, uh, around where Crossroads, um, Protech Fire, mm -hmm. the new Patriots, uh, Reno's, the post office there, uh, if you've ever driven through there and say, wow, I bet they could do uh, a rotary here and that would help things out, well, um, yep. your wish is coming true. Um, the Patriot Road, Patriots Road Roundabout, or Rotary, if you're from Massachusetts, uh, approved for set, uh, state and federal money, uh, should be starting construction within the next few years. Uh, I think uh, conservatively we thought 22 mm -hmm. was when they were going to do that, but that's part of uh, a Massachusetts Planning Commission's um, uh, work to try and get some of these larger projects funded. So that'll. That, I know that uh, when we brought that up, there were half the people kind of giving a cheer and half the people saying that's going to be a mess. Um, I'm looking forward to it because that is that is a tough intersection there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, you know, you said this a little while ago, Adam, and I want to. You know, I've got it in my notes as a, a quote. Uh, Templeton is on the rise. Well, you said it. I liked it so much. I want oh, to say well, it. Oh well, it was so. exactly what. Um, uh, the, our, our external partners, the audit, um, I think it, I thought I wrote, wrote, down, uh, wrote the, the name of the auditor down so I could remember it. Roselli. Right? Roselli. Um, Tony said so that? Mr. Is that where you got he, from? He, oh, he did. Okay. He, said, he said in his report, Templeton is on the rise. That's and right. I, you I, I want to say that that was a sentiment from our most recent financial audit conducted by Mr. Roselli. Mm -hmm. And um, it made me feel good because it, it did reflect to me some of the, the, the real positives that have happened within the last few years. We had, we had many years that we, it was a fiscal mess, and I think a lot of people could uh, collectively get together and, and you know, give the, the north-south uh, shake of the head, but we're getting better. And um, as I said, where we started out with 30, um, 30 deficiencies, we're down to six enduring that are really procedural and that we've already basically put uh, controls in place for. Mm -hmm. So I would expect by the next time, you know, if Mr. Roselli said Templeton is on the rise, maybe you'd say, Templeton, you're on top now. I think mm -hmm. that's a really good thing. Uh, lastly, just uh, looking forward to a couple items and then I, I'll, I'll go to a, a conclusion. Um, is the communication with the boards, committees, and commissions. We are getting better with relationships in our technology, but we need, um, we don't want to make it seem that all the volunteer positions are filled. They're not. Um, the Economic Development mm -hmm. uh, Very Committee, the EDIC, is still um, down at large members. So when I speak to opportunities, these are opportunities for our citizens to actually get involved in this. Say, you've got it all wrong. With this, this past year, we've seen a lot of people coming out and saying, I have an idea. Um, what if we did a, a special law, as Mr. Noel Francis came and spoke, uh, worked with uh, uh, Selectwoman Griffiths about possibilities to try and uh, alleviate these budget problems we have from a um, school district perspective. Um, we do need volunteers. We need volunteers not only for the municipal government, but we need volunteers. We were, um, we were uh, in danger of actually having no more volunteers for the Arts and Crafts Festival. And um, miraculously, we did get volunteers for that. So kudos to you. I don't know who it was out there, but uh, if you stepped up and, and saved one of these essential Templeton uh, recreational uh, events, that's a good thing. Um, get involved within your community. Volunteer. Um, we have a lot of veterans events. I know the Clear Path for New England is working with Sheila and Veteran Services to try and um, Invigorate the the, the, uh, the volunteers that we have within community from a veterans perspective. Yeah, she's been working hard. Absolutely, I know, I know you chat mm -hmm. with her too. I and do. She's she's doing everything she can, and she's she's only here part time, but yep. she really goes above and beyond mm -hmm. the call. I mean, she will meet with people. She'll mm -hmm. sit down with them, make sure that everything works out. Her knowledge mm -hmm. when it comes to veterans benefits is amazing. Yep. I mean, I. I I, sometimes she explains it to yeah, me. Yeah, and, and she's like, building know. new collaboratives. Um, mm -hmm. I, off the top of my head, I can't remember the, um, the new organization, uh, faith-based organization that she's working with, um, that it really it's going to invigorate uh, what she can provide for the veterans in our community. And uh, the Veterans Park, uh, the Veterans Memorial Park will be, I think it, she's uh, got it scheduled to open on or about either it's Memorial Day or Veterans Day that we're going to uh, open that down in Baldwinville, which is pretty exciting. A lot of people are asking about that. 
Um, so really that's as far as items to look forward to. We do a great job with technology and otherwise, if we miss something, we own up to it and uh, we wind up fixing it, whether it's a missing set of minutes or otherwise. Um, again, the community engagement, the public actually watching and providing oversight, um, not by vert, you know, vert, uh, by a charge or anything, but just by being involved in their community has been really um, helpful to us mm -hmm. um, because we're not infallible, but uh, we, do, we do try and strive to provide the most services that we can. Um, just to kind of conclude, um, I'd like to, Adam, do you have anything before I wind up giving no, it? No, it's, okay. all, it's all you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'd like to reiterate to this town, uh, the town that uh, the state of Templeton is strong. We continually improve our products and our processes from our town's innovations, as well as keeping an ear and an eye to our engaged community. I'd like to offer a special thank you now to the following people and groups that I, that I believe has made us stronger through our continued engagement. Carter and Adam, um, for not only keeping the town moving forward, but by doing it while transitioning the town administrator position. They also take the time to spend with any citizen who has a question. Um, I frequently hear, I won't tell you which one complains, but uh, they do spend hours without, uh, out of their day, and it is an hourly job. So to spend three hours on a question that is, uh, that is brought up to them, whether, it, whether it's an easy one, or a hard one, they do take the time to be able to make sure that uh, that, that uh, level of uh, understanding is afforded to the the citizens. For after, after all, these are your tax dollars at work. Um, a recent example of that: a community member wanted to, or a couple of community members in one of the meetings wanted to know about conservation uh, uh, information, and through a variety of different methods, we were able to put together a comprehensive report to explain. Um, some of which I've shared on my, face, uh, my uh, selectman page on Facebook for all of the information about conservation land here in, in Templeton. Uh, very interesting information. Mm -hmm. I'd like to thank also our social media followers, really um, from the Facebook perspective. Um, groups, pages, people um, devoted to understanding and advocating for what information or misinformation is out there. Um, I, I think it was a very... Uh, eye-opening year. Uh, there are a lot of different groups out there. Some have been around a long time um, that, we, that uh, we knew about, but they all seem to have some kind of um, piece of the pie for providing information, and I think that's essential. Some of, uh, some of those groups are a little bit grittier than others. Some of them um, are designed for a specific purpose and maybe run by specific people, but what I saw out there was communication. Mm -hmm. um, if someone was wrong on something, um, I don't think there were uh, people trolling for misinformation, but there was certainly a lot of good debate out there. So I want to thank you out there for being involved with that. Um, <laughs> Jeff Bennett, I'd like to really thank you for continually reading and writing. Yeah. Um, he does that for us on the board. He shares quite a bit of information and does not pull any punches. Uh, Chris Casavant for his patience and unwavering dedication to the cause of education in a student-valued ethic that is admirable. So when you talked about uh, their kickoff event, mm -hmm. to see them, uh, to see uh, the superintendent remind his, his staff um, of everybody sitting in that auditor auditorium that what they go to work every single day for, very, very powerful, um, really kind of renews your spirit and otherwise. So thank you, Chris. Uh, Luann, Luann Royer, Kelly, Carol, um, and their teams for the constant vigilance throughout a very tumultuous year. Um, I know that you spoke to that as well, but I wanted to make sure that I was mentioning that, that financial team. Uh, I know Cheryl's a part of that too. Uh, Mike Bennett, Chief Mike Bennett, for keeping your public safety team flexible and well managed. Maintaining peak capability is difficult, and I, I definitely uh, acknowledge that. Dave Dickey, Chief Dickey, for the same. It was difficult to maintain coverage to the point where he was the point man for several events. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's in a pickup truck. Um, uh, I frequently use a uh, app on my phone called Scanner Pro, or uh, it's a scanner app, and um, thankfully we can actually listen to uh, uh, communications, the pu public safety team, and I hear him out on these calls, and I realized that he was the uh, that he may not have been the uh, you know he was the chief and he had to stay back, but he filled in these roles. So, Chief, thank you for that. 
Bob Skozik, there is not a person I interact with does not sing his praises. He is caring, available, and well aware of what Templeton's needs are. Um, he is a phone call away. Uh, I don't think he's on Facebook, but uh, very responsive. If there's a hole, you know, people get out there and they'll, you know, say that you know they could go fishing in one of the potholes mm -hmm. or otherwise. But they just certainly, Bob uh, takes a personal interest in, in making sure that he's reactive to that. Probably one of the greatest contributions is Steve Castle and the TCV team. Sean is behind that camera. Hannah's behind that camera. Zach's not here today, but he did a great uh, year-end wrap-up. Um, without them, many of our achievements and challenges would not have been widely uh, would not have been seen and widely distributed. We are a most we are a more successful community because of what they provide us. Finally, I want to list out our town departments and offices as they are the reasons we can remain responsive to our community's needs. As people love to say, these departments represent your tax dollars at work. Susan at Animal Control, the Board of Assessors, the Board of Health, our Boynton Public Library team, the Building Department, Lori at the Community Development Office, Jackie at Community Services, the Conservation Commission, um, all of them. Uh, our emergency management team to include the CERT team. I had the pleasure of sitting with them um, in, a, in a crisis. I'm actually to become the, uh, the incident commander and uh, Rich oh, wow. always tells me, uh, he's like, that's okay if you don't want to. And I said, I think I can, I, I can handle it. But to sit in front of his group of volunteers mm -hmm. and to listen to all the time that they devote, thank you. And, and, I, and just on the emergency management team, I could just jump in. I, I want to say we have one of the best emergency management teams Absolutely, in this area. Love I mean, a lot of mm -hmm. people really look up to Rich yep. Curtis, the, and they're a dedicated group yep. of volunteers. And Terry, um, Terry Griffiths is on, uh, part of the CERT, mm -hmm. and she's been for qu uh, quite a few years. Um, the fire department with uh, our EMS services, John and Tom at the light and water department, the public works teams, the planning board, the police department, Scott at Recreation Commission, all of our volunteers that we have at our senior services in the, uh, the in the senior building, Templeton Community Television, I mentioned you probably the whole team already, uh, the Templeton Housing Authority, Cheryl at the Collector Treasurer uh, and her team, Sheila and all of her volunteers and her board, um, the uh, advisory board at Veteran Services Officer, Zoning Board of Appeals, uh, Bob McDonald is, is our new sewer department sewer superintendent, and um, you know, a collective Anyone else that I may have overlooked, uh, thank you for a great year, and I'm looking for a, an excellent um, year, uh, 2020. Um, it is the people that make us a strong community. Thank you, and God bless this United States of America. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I couldn't have said it better myself. Great. Thank you, Adam. Thank you.